Yo, what is up, everybody? I'm Mr. Hermes, and welcome back to another video. Today, we just got the new update of the ADATS tank, so let's go and check it out. Now, first impressions of this thing, it's pretty nice. It comes with the eight lock-on and laser-guided missiles, as well as the anti-air machine gun. But this ADATS tank is definitely going to cause big problems for people who like the planes. Like, eight lock-on missiles is absolutely insane, and they're laser-guided as well, so if they don't lock onto the plane, you can just aim your mouse right in the direction it'll hit the plane. The anti-air machine gun is really good as well. If you have good aim, then you can absolutely shred planes with the anti-air machine gun looking at the part cost it costs one engine one lower base and two cannons the only weakness really about the adats is its health it has pretty weak health but i mean that's understandable because the arsenal that this thing has, it needs to have low health so the planes can kill it as quickly as possible. But if you have the ADATS tank, I think it's going to be basically unstoppable against any plane. That is if you get good with it. So sitting in this tank is actually not too bad. It's got pretty good movement and it's got a top speed around 45 miles an hour, which isn't horrible for a tank. With the eight lock-on missiles and the machine gun, it also comes with a smoke screen and scopes. The one thing though I wish they did change about the ADATS is the design. It is literally just an M3 Bradley clone but it's shrinked down and it has like a radar on top of it. Included in this update, we also got the limited time skull skin for 10 medals, as well as the small UI change with the invite friends button now in the lobby where you can invite your friends to your game. And yeah, that's basically it on the ADAS update. Comment down below your thoughts on the ADAS update and if you think it should be nerfed or not. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.